Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are designing this website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And in the previous video, we designed this pricing section over here. Now in this video, we will design this uh, call to action and also this footer. So let's get started. <laughs> Right here I'm in the source code and let's go ahead and create a new section and let's give it an ID of CTA and uh, the first thing we need to have is a heading. So here we have this heading get started today so I'll just copy this and let's create an H2 and let's paste the text over here. The next thing we need to do is we need to create a division with the class of content and in that we need to have this paragraph so I'll just copy this. And let's create a p tag and paste the text over here. And then the last thing we need to have are these buttons. And these are the same buttons that we see over here. So we can just copy the same HTML. So let's go back to the hero section. And uh, here we have these two buttons. So I'll just copy these uh, buttons from here. So we have this division with the class of buttons. So I'll just copy it and uh, let's paste it right here after the paragraph. Right now let's go back to our design and uh, this is how it looks. Now let's style it using CSS. So let's go to a style with CSS file and let's create a comment. Let's type CTA. The first thing we will do is uh, we will text align this paragraph to the center. So I'll just type CTA content and in that we have P and uh, let's set the text align to center. Now we need to have a uh, fixed max width for this uh, section. So here we can see we have a lesser max width. So here let's target the container division. So let's tap CTA content and uh, let's set the max width to 600 pixels. And now we have these buttons and uh, these should be one next to the other. So here we can see that the buttons are one next to the other. Now let's go back to our CSS and let's see what's the problem. So let's scroll up. And here we can see for the buttons, uh, we have targeted header buttons. So it will only affect the buttons inside the header. So I'll just remove this header from here. So now let's save this. And now we can see that we have the buttons uh, displayed correctly over here in the hero section. And if you scroll down, here also we have the button displayed correctly. Now we need to bring these buttons to the center as well. So let's go ahead and uh, set the container division to display of flex. So here for the content, let's type display of flex and let's type align items to the center and uh, let's set the flex direction to column. Now let's type margin of zero auto to bring everything to the center and we'll also add some padding bottom to this uh, content. So let's type padding bottom and let's set it to 32 pixels. Now we will reduce the gap between this paragraph and this heading. So for the paragraph, we can just add a negative margin. So I'll just have margin top and let's set it to minus eight pixels. Let's also add some margin bottom. So let's tap margin bottom and let's set it to 32 pixels. And I think that looks all right. Now let's go ahead and start with the footer. So let's go back to our HTML file and uh, let's go outside this division because for the footer, we need to have full width and we need to have this black color and in that we need to have the container division. So this division over here which is the main division has this class of container and for that we have set a max width. So let's go ahead and create a footer element and in this we'll create the container division. So let's create a division with the class of container and in this we will add all the content. So let's create a division with the class of content and now for the footer we need to have the left section and the right section. So let's create a division with the class of left. And in this left section, we need to have this logo and this text. So I'll just copy this text. And uh, for the logo, let's create a division with the class of logo and let's type logo. And here let's create a paragraph and let's paste the text over here. And if you go back to the design, here we have the left part of the footer. Right now we need to create the right section. So for that, let's go outside this left division and let's create a division with the class of right. And uh, we have these two groups of links over here. 
So for that, let's create a division with a class of links. And in that, we need to have a heading. So I'll just create an S3. And let's type quick links. And then we need to have these three links over here. So for these three links, I'll just create a UL. And in that, we will have list items. And in the list items, we will have anchor tags. And here, let's type about us. And then we need to have privacy policy and terms and conditions. So I'll just copy this uh, list item. And let's paste it two more times. And here we need to have privacy policy. And uh, then here we need to have terms and conditions. So here we have these uh, links. Now we need to create this group of links. So let's create another division with a class of links. And in that we need to have another heading. So let's create an S3 and let's type contact us. And uh, in this we need to have these uh, three contact options. So for that let's create an unordered list and let's create list items. And in that we will have these uh, contact details. So I'll just copy this and paste it over here. And then let's create another list item and let's copy this. And let's paste it over here. And then lastly we have the address. So let's copy this address from here. And let's paste it over here. Right, that's basically it with the right section. So let's go outside this right section. And let's create another division for this uh, copyright section over here. So let's create a division with a class of copyright. And uh, in this we need to have a paragraph. And here we need to type designed by live blogger. So let's copy this and uh, let's paste it over here. And then we need to create these social links. So let's create a division with a class of socials. And in this we'll create anchor tags. And here you can add the link of your social media accounts. And here in this anchor tag, let's create an IMG tag. And for the SRC, let's tap images forward slash. And I have this image called Facebook logo dot SVG. Let's copy this anchor tag two more times. And uh, the next image is for Instagram. And then we have Twitter. So let's tap Instagram. And uh, here let's type Twitter. Right now let's go back to our design and uh, this is how it looks. Now let's style it using CSS. So let's go to our style.css file and uh, let's create a comment. I'll just type footer. And uh, first of all let's target the footer and uh, we have this footer element. So let's give it a background color. So let's type footer and uh, let's set the background color to linear gradient and let's set it to 90 degrees and uh, for the first color let's type hash 0a1300 and 0% and for the next color let's type hash 001e0f and let's type 100% and now we can see we have this uh, dark background color and uh, let's set the color of all the text to white and here we can see that we have this white text color and let's also add a padding top. So let's type padding top and let's set it to 50 pixels. And for the links also we need to have a white color. So let's target all the links. So I'll just type footer A and let's set the color of all the text to white. Right now let's set the display of the content to flex so that the left portion will be on the left side and the right division on the right side. So here we have this division with the class of content and in that we have the left and the right divisions. So let's tap footer content and let's set the display to flex and let's set the justify content to space between so that they are on the extreme left and right sides. And here we also have this copyright section on the right side. So let's go back to the HTML file and we need to add the copyright section outside this content division. So let's copy this copyright section from here and let's cut it from here and let's paste it outside this content division. And now we can see that the left section is on the left side and the right division on the right side and we have the copyright at the bottom. Right now let's style the logo. So let's type footer logo and uh, let's set the font size to 24 pixels and let's set the font weight to bold. Right now let's target this paragraph and uh, let's remove the margin top. So let's type footer left P 
and uh, let's type margin top of zero. Right now we need to have both these links uh, side by side. So it is inside the right division. So here we have this right division and in that we have these links. So let's set the display of the right division to flex. So let's type footer right and let's set the display to flex. And we'll also add a gap of 40 pixels. Right now let's remove the margin top from this S3. So here inside the links we have this S3. So I'll just type footer S3 and let's set the margin top to 0. Right now let's target this unordered list. So I'll just type footer UL and let's remove the bullets. So I'll just type list style and let's set it to none. And let's also remove the padding. So I'll just type padding of 0. Right now let's style these list items and let's add some margin. So I'll just type footer ULLI and let's add a margin of 8 pixels top and bottom and 0 for left and right. Right now let's style this copyright section over here. So for that we have this division with the class of copyright. So let's type footer copyright and first of all we need to have a border top. So here we can see we have this border. So let's type border top. And let's set it to 1 pixel solid RGBA 255, 255, 255. And for the opacity, let's type 0 0.4. And here we have this border. I think we need to have some gap between this line and this uh, top section. So let's go to the UL. And here I'll just add a margin bottom. And let's set it to 40 pixels. And now I think that looks all right. Right now let's continue styling this copyright section. So we need to have these two elements side by side. So let's set the display to flex. And uh, let's set justify content to space between. And uh, let's also add a padding. So I'll just have padding and let's set the padding to 20 pixels top and bottom and zero for left and right. Right now let's style these icons. So let's start footer. And we have a division with the class of socials. And uh, in that, we have these IMG tags. So let's type IMG. And let's set the height of the images to 40 pixels. Right now, let's add some gap between these elements. So let's type footer socials. And let's set the display to flex. And let's add a gap of 40 pixels. And I think that looks all right. I think these icons are placed a little bit to the top. So here for the copyright section, let's type align items to the center. And now we can see that they are exactly in the center. And with that, we have completed designing the footer of our website. Now here in this nav bar, I feel that these uh, links are not exactly in the center. So let's go back to the CSS and uh, let's go to the nav. And here for this nav element, let's also set align items to the center. And now they are exactly in the center and with that we have completed designing the desktop version of our website. In the next video we will start making it responsive. Right so that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.